Hello, uh, I am Prakash. I'm a science teacher from India. Today we are going to discuss about stem cells and I'm also going to share with you an idea. I don't know from where I got the courage to put this to the entire world because it may sound very very weird but then one should be courageous to put the idea forward whether it makes sense or not but because sometimes you know you start off in some direction and then you will end up in some other direction and you may end up discovering something new that's how science advances so there's nothing wrong if someone puts forward a very very incorrect idea or hypothesis doesn't make any sense but one when people start debating about it new things will crop up which may ultimately prove beneficial to humanity as you all know there's a lot of talk about stem cells these days uh, lots of promises have been made Nobel prizes have been awarded for stem cell research stem cells to put it in simple terms are nothing but cells without an identity you know in our body we have heart cells lung cells nerve cells these are cells with very specific identity a stem cell when it becomes a nerve cell say for example we say it has differentiated into a nerve cell in other words it has acquired an identity get it now there are stem cells in a plant also so let's look at the plant stem cells so the plant stem cells can differentiate into various cells that would confer the benefits to the plant likewise you have the human stem cells that would differentiate into various kinds but let's look at this combination what happens if a human stem cell is surrounded by plant stem cells what would happen there normally one would think that the human stem cell will die because it won't get the necessary nutrition but will it die that's my question why can't we expect something like this the plant stem cells it starts or it begins to help the human stem cell survive in other words there is some sort of an altruistic behavior the plant stem cell help the human stem cell by providing the necessary nutrition so we call it a hetero altruistic behavior because the human stem cell is in a state of distress it needs food and the plant stem cells are able to provide it now herein comes an important point I wish to go one step further I wonder whether these plant stem cells would also provide the necessary photosynthetic apparatus to the human stem cell so that the human stem cells or HSCs for short can start synthesizing their own food it's very uh, I don't know whether it makes sense to every one of us I'm sure everyone is would both is Definitely, it will be shocking to everyone, but if it happens that way, it would be astonishing, isn't it? Probably for the first time, a human stem cell is able to synthesize their own food because they got the photosynthetic genes from the plant stem cell. I don't know whether this makes sense or not, but nobody has done an experiment of this kind. But if it happens, it would be definitely are shaking I don't know whether it makes sense to everyone but at least even if it doesn't make sense you know I wish to I wish to place this to everyone in the world because no matter whether the idea makes sense or not one should have the courage to put it forward as I said before this may this may lead to a lot of very constructive debates and a lot of good things will crop up in the near future.
So this is my idea. Think about it. I'll give my email ID. Please send me a mail. We will discuss about this. Thank you.